You know, I can never decide what I want to do with my life. I think that's a pretty universal feeling. I'm at the top of Arthur's seat. Arthur's seat is in Edinburgh, for people who don't know. Um, and I'm sitting on the edge of one of the crags. This is the view. If I drop my phone, I'd be very annoyed. Anyway, basically I came up here because I needed to be alone. Um, right, I can never figure out what I want my YouTube to be. I can never figure it out. And I've just decided that it's gonna be whatever the f I want. I don't really care, see, because I started off, when I was a lot younger, I started off with a YouTube channel and I did like funny little like life hack videos and like <laughs> girls taking selfies and just making fun of people in my high school basically. Not really, kind of. Anyway, that makes me sound a lot cooler than I actually am, but um, yeah. And I could just never, all my videos were kind of like, had a theme or like a topic, but you know, why, why am I just not enough? Like, I, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I am enough. <laughs> I'm enough just me and my personality. And I don't see why I can't just post some funny just videos that I want to post like anyway part of my channel I think is gonna be here's here's my here's my plan right I'm gonna have everything on this channel but some things I'm gonna are gonna be like covers which will happen like maybe monthly monthly is my minimum goal monthly a nice shiny new cover to kind of feel like I'm progressing my music career, to feel like I have things for people to see. But then, you know, I also really enjoy vlogging, really enjoy vlogging. And I know that there are people out there who will watch, I really need to take a shit, fucking hell, I'm all the way up here. Um, why? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I totally derailed my own train of thought with um yeah let's not go there see that's that's too personal for the first for the first youtube video oh my god anyway basically part of my channel there's just gonna be different playlists it's all gonna be on one channel there's gonna be different playlists and i'm just gonna put whatever the f i feel like up whenever i'm gonna have music videos for my original songs they can all go in a playlist i'll have like um i guess like tip videos like because i like i know that there's like music students who would like to know what going to a conservatory is like or like um i probably could help a few musicians out with the things i learned so there'll be like a little like a little advice sort of like more structured videos and then there'll be like a vlog section but i'm really tempted to just take a shit out here fucking hell <sighs> maybe it'll pass it always passes, you get this sudden freaking urge, and then if you just hold it for a little while, it goes away, like, back up. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, maybe I need to reconsider what I'm posting online. But honestly, I do not give a flying fuck. I really don't. It's different, because like, oh my gosh, my topics are all over the place. In high school, like when I posted, when I was like posting my little videos and stuff, I remember like there's a few guys like a few guys that would take try and take the piss out of me and I never really cared I was just like yeah I'm doing what I want like why surely you're just like I knew that that they're teasing me about what I was posting online came from the fact that they're just scared to post things online because they're scared what other you a bug they're scared what other uh, other people think so and I wasn't scared what other people think so naturally they're gonna take the piss out of me because I'm doing something that they feel like they can't do so I, I never really took that seriously but now I'm not in high school anymore and I'm not I would never was driven by what other people thought I always I, I'd like to think that I always kind of didn't give too much of a shit but um now there's even less of a reason to give a shit, like, so why not? Why not? 
why not am i right and also look at this i think i i think this is my new spot i'm just perched in like a perfect little space Anyway, I feel like I have much more to say, but I'm also, I'm, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read for a bit. I'm gonna make the most of being up here. I'm reading Murakami 1984. I haven't started it yet. I kind of skimmed the first page, but it sounded enticing. So I'm gonna continue reading it. And I also got Godel Esterbach, um, which is, how do you even explain it? Basically the author, which is, Hofstadter? Hofstadter? Hofs Hofstadter. <laughs> um, draws, draws like links um, between Bach and his music, um, Esther and his um, art, and then Gödel, who's I think a mathematician. Um, so that's cool. Really enjoying it so far. I'm like page 18. Um, why did you need to know that specific? I don't, I don't know. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna read for a bit, I think. I don't know, maybe the urge will strike me to turn the camera back on and talk about random things. All right, I didn't last very long reading before I got bored. Do you ever just read and you don't take any of the information in because you're just thinking about things like processing? Sometimes I need to do that. I need to just read but not read. Like I just skim, like I actually, like I'm reading the words but none of the information's going in. Anyway, look at the beautiful view. I just had massive deja vu. Ooh, ooh. When was I here? Oh, that's really weird. This is like the first time I've been on the crags. Cause I always go up to Arthur's seat, not the crags. So, oh, oh, that's freaks me out. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? I had something to say. We're scared to put things online because we're scared that people are gonna like make fun of us or something, disagree with what we're doing, it's gonna hurt our careers, but it's the spotlight effect. No one's watching me. No one really gives a shit what I'm doing and that's fine. Like there's actually peace in that. I can do whatever the I want and no one really cares. So with that in mind, I'm gonna continue to vlog and I guess if I post this then you you know that I uh, went through with it. Every day I'm in Edinburgh and I go somewhere like this and I don't just like hold myself in my room. I like remember just how beautiful and how lucky I am to live here. Like wow. Wow wow wow. There are other places in the UK that are really cool. Like Oxford has beautiful architecture. London's awesome because it's London. Um, Manchester's cool in its own right because it's Manny and I'm starting to really love it there. Oh my god, I slipped. I need new shoes. Does anyone else wear their shoes until they're like properly dead? Because it's very tempting to get new shoes as soon as they start stop looking nice. Do I need to fix the lighting? It's so bright. Does that help? Does that just make it worse? I'll just trust iPhone has its lighting sorted. Um, yeah, I wear my shoes until they're in death. Because it's just wasteful otherwise. I imagine they're in a dump somewhere. They get thrown. And then there's people who are like, I would have loved to wear those shoes. So I'm like, why would I waste, waste shoes? Why am I still talking? I just realized I'm actually really nervous that I dropped my dad's earbuds. Because I was, I had my, usually I just wouldn't wear a helmet, but I knew that the day that I risked not wearing a helmet would be the day that I cracked my head open. So I, I didn't risk it. <laughs> I need to call. Um, and so I asked to borrow his earbuds instead of my beats for riding the bike. And I chucked them in the back pocket of my, in the front pocket, but I'm really worried that they just like toppled out. There's nothing worse than asking to borrow someone's things and then coming back and being like, I lost it, I'm sorry. Anyway, just some food for thought. Also, I never considered, right, in high school, when I had to do, when PE was mandatory, I just hated it because, like, I don't know, like, part of it was also the, the, the dress. Like, all the girls would wear, like, squirts and stuff, and I would be like, I don't know, I just didn't feel like 
as pretty as they looked or whatever. Like I just felt dorky in this the wear. So then it just kind of like deterred me from sports. And then everyone else, I really like being active. I actually, I've always loved being active, but then like the competition of it. And then cause I'm petite and like short, I think like the teachers didn't really take me seriously cause I wasn't like tall and athletic or whatever, which is shit. If you're a PE teacher, please try and be more inclusive about like body type and stuff in sports. Cause like there are lots of people who really enjoy being active, but just don't like can't fit the little box you put them in for PE. Um, cause I am now as an adult, I'm like discovering that I, I actually really love being active. Like I've been weightlifting at the gym, kind of lost my gains, but I had some good, good arms for a bit. Um, I had abs for a while. I'll get them back in about three weeks when, <laughs> when I'm back at the gym. But, um, yeah, really enjoying being active and it's so good for mental health. I'm actually happy. <laughs> what? kidding kind of quick update because I know everyone was really worried for me I found my dad's earbuds so it's fine also there's just no way to look chic in a freaking um, bike helmet and I've got lots of hills to do so freaking wish me luck I hope I don't die see you on the other side